guys, what's up? This is Autumn Beauty. Yeah. So, today we're going to make a dragon. Yes, a dragon, you know? A dragon is a, le is a legendary creature, you know? Yeah. So, this is the dragon, and I made it on my first try. It has a head, some plates, legs, wings, and even a tail. That's wings. You can swing it using your hand. And I think it's really good since it's really, uh, it looks really good. And like that, you can curve it like that. And it seems like the dragon is brushing its tail, its fur in the tail. Okay, so without further ado, get your papers ready and let's get started. So, for this dragon, we're going to fold a square base first. So we're going to fold horizontally in half, right side up. So this is a 10 inch square piece. And it's about 25 times 25 centimeters. So it's really big. So open it up and fold across. Again, horizontally in half. And then this time, open it up, cut it side up, and fold it in half diagonally. And same as this way. Okay, so now back to right side up, and we need to collapse this whole thing. So now it's much more smaller, it's easier to look too. Okay, now we're going to take one flap here, the raw edge, to this crease. Make sure they're aligned. We don't want it to overlap or we don't even want it to leave a gap as well. This really rhymes, right? Don't overlap or don't leave a gap. Yeah, it really rhymes. Okay, so um, the two raw edges are folded into the middle crease. We're going to take this whole triangle. By this um, edge, we're going to fold down. Or you can rotate and fold it up. So it will be easier. Just don't mess it up. Because you need to redo it again if you messed up. So you can rotate and open the flap again. And then repeat on the other side. So it's like folding a crane. So uh, when you look at it the first time like that. And now we're going to pedal fold. Pedal fold means to... Uh, you first need to make this square base and fold these edges too. So we're going to take this flap and fold it on this crease so it's not flattened it looks really ugly as well but you've made these diagonal folds right these folds and you're gonna fold this raw edge to the middle like that same as this so align it like that so do we on this do it the same on the other side as well. Like that. So you've got this petal. Something like that. And this way. Same as the opposite side. You need to petal fold. So that it's like making a crane. So if you don't know how to make this petal fold. Or you don't even know how to make a crane. You can check out my video. Uh, the dual colored crane. It's really simple to make. Okay, so you now have this petal. It's just like that on the top. So now we're gonna fold it, fold this flap down, and also this flap down, so that we get a shape like a kite. Just need to fix these points 
Okay. So, now we've got this. A kite shape. Uh, thingy. And now we're going to take this point to this cross. So, just make sure that it's meet. It's meeting. Like that. Okay. So, we're going to open this whole thing and sink it. We're going to make a sink. Open this whole thing. Okay? So you got this. You see this square. We're going to mountain fold all the edges of this square. Oh, the creases. Yes, we're going to mountain fold them. And then for this area, we need to valley fold it like that. Just need to fold this area. Okay, now you make the square base again. Or you first sink it before you make the square base. Like that. And you hold these edges. And squeeze them to make the sink. Okay, so you just need to fix these petals. Now it's sink. Okay, so now we made the sink. We're gonna fold from this point to this point in the middle. So we're gonna make a crease like that. You don't need to align to this crease, okay? You don't need to do it. Same on the side. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, like that. So now we're gonna take this uh, flap and fold it upwards like this. And same as this side as well. So we've got something like this. It looks like this at the top. Now we're gonna make a minor miracle fold. So you fold this flap to here in half like that, turn it over and take this flap, let's see, okay, so it should look like this now, it has something like a claw or scissors, anything you can uh, call it, anything you, you like, like this, so this is a finished miracle fold, so now we're going to fold, uh, like this you're gonna make a v-shaped area so we want these edges to align with this edge but you also want to fold it from this point as well so let's open it up and fold it just don't fold it like that i'm gonna push this crease so that it's aligned as well And then you close it like that. So it's aligned and also you fold it from here to there. So you just need to flatten it. Now do it the same thing on this side as well. So you got something like an angel like now. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah. The minor miracle fold is finished, and these two flaps are folded too. Now, we're going to fold this flap up to here, using this crease, and same on the other side as well. Okay, now, we're going to fold this whole thing to the left, but before we do that, we're going to take this edge to here, and to this edge, so, you fold it. To align and also you want to fold and you stop here and same as this sign as well so we're just making one wing and this wing we're going to fold to the left and the next uh, wing well yeah you're going to check out the video later so anyways let's finish these two folds 
fold it in like that and it's not collapsed well you need to squish it fold it to left and right to the middle like that left right and now fold it to the left and then fold this flap like this so you got uh, a 90 degree here and now I'm gonna open this flap from here to align it like that so like this you open it and then just squish it like this and then open it up fold it like that so you align this and this point and then uh, unfold this and then repeat steps behind so we're gonna do it again just align this edge to here and then align this edge to this edge and then this time we're gonna fold it wait a minute I need to fix this a little bit Fold it to the right. And then we're going to take this flap so that it makes a 90 degree. And then open this flap like that. No worries if you overlap a bit. And then unfold this and fold this flat to the left and then take it up so it aligns okay so now you're gonna flip it so that it looks like that okay so basically the shape is finished but now we're gonna make its legs yes the legs so before we do that I want to fold from this edge to this edge and also you're gonna see something like that so we're gonna fold it inside tuck it inside and then you squeeze this edge so that it aligns and then push it to the left okay so you do it on the same side like that Oh. Just do it the opposite side, repeating the steps. And I say this is re a really difficult tutorial because you might get uh, confused when you make these difficult steps. Of course, you, if you are mastered, you can be okay and not be confused. Of course, and I think. But I think it's really confusing for me the, uh, at the first time, since I just tried to make it the first time. And the results came in pretty well. Yeah. So, repeating the steps like that. And you got these flaps, so we can make the legs like that. So, now we're going to take it this flap to here so you can make a triangle here same on this side to, so you make another leg this leg will be slight uh, well just fold it to here so that you cannot fold it anymore we don't want it to be different sized legs So you just need to align it like that and press it and the legs are just completed okay so you finish the legs now comes to the hard part so you need to make the wings Whew. yeah just be focused okay so we're gonna take this flap down and then fold this point to this point so it's like folding into halves and then 
fold it shut. And then we're going to take this edge to this crease. And then fold it so that this crease aligns with this crease. Okay, so we got something like that. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to fold this to this crease. So we're making eight plaits. And then take this edge. No, just take this crease to this crease. So you might align it with this crease on the edge. Okay? And then the same going on. You just need to align and fold these triangles in halves. It's a little bit tricky to make these wings. And then... Uh, Fold it up, following the creases, fold the zigzags like that, wait a minute, okay, mm -hmm. we just need to make one more. It's pretty hard to make this wing. Something like that. One, two, three, four. There are four valleys. If you can't uh, align these, it's okay. Because it won't affect the look very, very much. So, now we're going to take these... So we're gonna make, we're gonna push it so that it becomes two flaps. And uh, make some flaps into doubled flaps so it looks more realistic. Do it the same. And squeeze it. Ah, something like that. So open the wings and you see that it looks more realistic. Now, repeat on the other side. This is so much hard work. Oh well. Okay, so repeat it. So put this flat down. Fold it in half, and then you can just just fold this to here, so it's taking less time. Yes. So a better way or a faster way to do this is to fold it in half and like that, and again and do it like this, so that you can finish the folds. Instantly, literally, okay. Yeah, it's so tiring. Now, fold it up again, fold the creases, valley, mountain, valley, mountain, valley, mountains, and one more valley. Okay, so it look, so she looks like that. And you need to make some more flaps so that from one flap it turns into two flaps. This is really magical and hard too. And like that, the other wing is finished. So we've got both wings finished. Pretty nice, huh? 
so if you made it to this point it's a well done for you because I say this tutorial is complicated and I'm really tired as well I'm tired oh well anyways I'll just continue the tutorial it's for you guys you know the videos are shared okay now the wings are finished it's time to make uh, the head and uh, the tail as well so remember that the head should be to the right the pointy um, the direction of the pointy wings the point this point should be facing this way and the head should be this so remember the triangle looks like this and the pointy is on the right okay so now you have uh, an odd number of flaps this is confusing right just take so you find the middle and put the middle flap to the right or the left I recommend put it to the right it doesn't matter okay so now rotate like that and then we make plates so want to open it up a little bit squeeze some creases first you're gonna make some valleys and then squeeze up some mountains and then fold it towards the body like that so you got a little plait and then we're gonna flatten it and then pull it like that to a little bit upwards so it's already a little bit upwards like that so if you want to make it look like it's curved you can make more plaits and now i'm gonna show you now just gonna make some more plaits open it up make some mountains and valleys and then fold towards the body flatten and pull it while spiraling it like that and then flatten and you got something like curved paper it looks really cursed when it when the paper is curved yeah i say my video has tons of rhymes this time so just need to make some more plaits and you're done with the head of course and you can make some more than three or four but i recommend this number is already enough like that so check it out it does not look like a head since it's only a point yeah bruh so we're gonna reverse fold it and then put it down fold it and pull it up the head is finished and then we're gonna make the tail you can um i recommend making the head curved upwards and the tail curved downwards like that a little bit downwards we don't want it to be low super low because um when the tail is lower than its whole body the body won't stand up it will just fall down and it's really cursed i don't really like falling dragons they're dead okay so now we're gonna make the tail again there's an odd number of flaps here so you're gonna take the middle and put it to the right or left and uh, it doesn't matter now we're gonna make more plaits so open it up a little bit and fold plaits just push it towards the body and then like that but this time we're not going to pull it upwards like that instead we're going to pull, pull it a little bit downwards like that and i recommend making only two or three plaits uh, when you're making the tail like that 
two plaits, I think it's already enough. And then now we're gonna make a out reverse fold like that. And pull it outwards so it's not going upwards. We want it to uh, make it go upwards a little bit. Just like that. And the tail should be going up a little bit while curving downwards uh, in here. So, whew. okay, after some tiresome um, um, tutorials, and I think it's pretty good. The results came out. Looks pretty good. And this time, I'm going to give you a little bonus. And this bonus, here it comes. Ah, oh no, I've been chased by the dragon. Uh-oh. Ah, oh no, Huey has been turned into ash. Boing. Ha, ah, you've been fooled, dragon. This is only a fake Huey. It's not real. <laughs> okay, so. In this bonus movie, you can see that Huey is really smart. He put a fake Huey in front of the dinosaur, or you can say dragon. It really looks like a flying dinosaur too. And he runs away, and when the dragon sees the fake Huey, it tries to chase it and breathe fire into it. And then it turns to ash, but the real Huey pops off. So, anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And thank you for all the subscribers, since I now have 60 subscribers, so I'm really appreciated. And I appreciate all of you, all the subscribers. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Remember to subscribe or I'll be fine to you. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video.